Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example on Heater and Cooler Control. So, let's look at the example first. Heater and Cooler Control If the low level temperature sensor gets activated, that is, when the temperature is below 25 degrees, a heater should run for 45 seconds. And if the high level temperature sensor gets activated, that is when the temperature is above 30 degrees, a cooler should run for 45 seconds. So in this case, we will use two normally open contacts for low level temperature sensor and high level temperature sensor. We will also use timer that is TP, time pulse. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive. And then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. So here is a description about the logic controller we have selected. And then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram to control heater and cooler. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. And then I will insert one more normally open contact. And then I will insert a coil here. Then I will assign address to the contact as low, sorry, I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as low temp. Sensor. Yes. And then I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as heater. Yes. Then I will insert a functional block timer for heater and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 45 and then click on apply. So when start button is turned on and then low temperature sensor detects that the temperature is below 25 degrees then heater will be turned on for 45 seconds and then i will add a new rung and then i will insert normally open contact one more normally open contact and then a coil then 
I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0, .0 which is a start button and then I will assign address to it as I 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as high temperature sensor. Sorry. <coughs> high temperature sensor. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0 0.1 and then I will also add symbol to it as cooler. Yes. And then when high temperature is sensed, when the high temperature sensor senses that the temperature is above 30 degrees, then cooler will be turned on for 45 seconds. So I will insert a timer for cooler that should be TP and then I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 45 and then apply. So when start button is turned on then if a low temperature sensor senses that the temperature is below 25 degrees then heater will be turned on for 45 seconds and if high temperature sensor senses that the temperature of the, the temperature is above 30 degrees then cooler will be turned on for 45 seconds. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. I will go to commissioning and I will launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. Then I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when start button is turned on and then if a low temperature sensor detects that the temperature is low then heater will be turned on for 45 seconds. 4, 5, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five. And then heater will be turned off. And then if the high level temperature senses that the temperature is above thirty degrees, then cooler will be turned on for forty five seconds. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.